Hello everyone and welcome to our Tech Tuesday Tutorials number 85. Today we show you how to replay a movie of a Google Doc using a Chrome extension called Draft Pack. Sometimes you want to see the history of a document. For whatever reason, you might want to see the changes that were made and when. In Google Docs, you can easily do this by going up to File, Version History, and See Version History. You'll see the versions over on the right hand side and you can scroll to each one of them and even expand them to see more details. The problem with this is that it doesn't really paint a big picture of the entire document's history and it can take a long time for you to scan this kind of stuff if you're looking at a large document. So what are your other options? Well, luckily there's this wonderful add-on called Draftback and Draftback will basically take the entire history of your document, take each revision as a frame and replay a movie of your document's entire lifespan. From the beginning of the document, you get to see it being written in sped up time or even in real time. You can get the extension on the Chrome Web Store, just Google Chrome Web Store and look up Draftback, not Backdraft, Draftback or use the link in this video's description on YouTube. Once installed, you simply load up a Google document that you have editing rights for, look for the draft back button up at the top, it's next to your share button, and then click that. It'll then start processing this document and take all the revisions as frames and build the movie. It takes a lot longer if you have a lot of revisions, of course, but most of the documents build pretty quickly. Now you'll start seeing the playback and from here you can do a few things. You can pause it and you can you know, fast forward to the different part of the document there. You can also control the speed by using the little knob over here to the left, top left corner and speed up the playback or you can bring it down to slower than normal uh, or even just play actual speed. What's super slick about this is that you have this preview over here on the left hand side and you can drag that down to see different parts of the document. Now, you'll notice that this playback of this document is really bare bones. It doesn't look like the actual document that I was looking at before right here it doesn't kind of have all the formatting and so on. That's just one of the limitations of Draftback, unfortunately. The big benefit here is being able to see kind of the writing process. So if you're looking at a student's writing and you play back, you know, the, the entire history of that document, you get to see them struggle with the intimidating white of the paper. Uh, you know, that's a tough thing. Writing that first paragraph can be a really tough thing for kids. You get to see where they uh, move things around. You might even see where five paragraphs appear out of nowhere. What does that tell you? You might see where a giant paragraph appears and then they change four or five words in there. That's a clear indicator that they may have plagiarized this. This is really, really good if you're a teacher, if you've got students writing, it's also good to look at your own writing and it's just interesting to see the uh, life of a document. Now, having said that, you have a couple of other features here to consider. One is you'll see a thing up here that says begin extraction for embed. Basically, you can actually take some of this part of this video in a sense and begin extracting it into a separate file that you can then use embed code to put it on your website and it's going to take that little snippet of it and just kind of show that version history. Uh, I will just mention that for completion because I know some people are going to ask what that thing does up there. It's kind of weird. The other thing is you can look at document graphs and statistics and this is actually pretty interesting. You can see when the document changes were made and where in the document in terms of uh, the beginning to the end going up and down uh, was that was that made and that's kind of neat because you can then see you know when changes were made by who and how many revisions were made in that time period. They basically take um, periods where there wasn't more than a 10 minute gap. I half expected this to kind of fail when the file got really big. So I loaded the biggest file I had, which was actually my wife's uh, thesis on the Questing Beast. It has 99,000 revisions and I loaded it up in the draft back to see what would happen. And sure enough, it works. Um, it's kind of amazing. I will say that after a certain point, the preview over here just stops working and it doesn't appear anymore, um, but it does still work all the way to the end. And what's actually really interesting here is the document graphs and statistics for this. When you see the breakdown and you can see when major changes were made back in 2013, again, uh, 2014. Um, and then you can come in here and see how many revisions were made on that date or between these two time periods and by whom. Most of them, of course, were, were Mallory, but some were her professor, Julia Griffin. So this right here, this archeology span of a document really tells you a lot. I mean, you could see, especially in group dynamics, who was working on the document when, how many revisions they made, from what time to when, all this kind of stuff. Now, this is already data that you have. Let me make that very clear. This is data you already have 
in your Google Docs through that revision history. It just displays it in a way that's actually usable and, and very informative to uh, a teacher or student or things like that. With DraftBack, your data is kept entirely private. DraftBack was actually purposely designed so that you could play back your own documents without having to share them with a third party. So this is your data. Uh, so it's not like they're getting your data. The second thing is DraftBack only needs access to docs.google.com to get the revision data for playback, but that data never leaves your browser. So it's important for you to know that even if you have a sensitive document, this is happening within your browser. It's not being sent to DraftBack or any of them like that. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you found it useful. And if you did, go ahead and click that like button. Hey, why not support us and click that subscribe button. Click on the bell icon to receive email notifications. Leave a message or an idea for a Tech Tuesday video below. Share this video with your friends and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.